So let's have a general overview of a digital communication system. Overview. of a digital communication system. So what do we have? We have got digital data. It's rep represented in a digital stream. I just draw it as a zero one one zero or something like this. It can be bytes or words, but in general something quantized. And then we've got here some kind of magic box, and I just draw a question mark in there, which turns this into some kind of radio frequency energy. And then this is transmitted via a channel. to another antenna here and then here we've got again this box and then this turns it again into digital data. So this is, we've got this channel here in the middle, here we've got again stream a binary stream, hopefully the same what we have sent out there on the side here and so that we have absolute perfect recovery of this um, so error correction is dealt with in later we just assume this can be transmitted but um, important now is the following here that so these are, this is a band limited or band pass band pass filter channel here and so this whole area here is analog. Yeah, so, so this means we have some kind of, this box needs to do some kind of digital to analog transformation here. And, um, and, so, and so this channel here, so this needs to be, this is analog here. And also this signal here is usually a bandpass filtered signal. And the, the other problem is, obviously, this is a digital stream here, and this is an analog bandpass signal. So so how can we do this timing-wise? These are obviously totally different, different types of signals here. This is a binary stream, which also quantizes in time. Yeah, so we have got chunks in time here. Where this one here runs obviously on a con uh, on a continuous basis, at least in RF, whereas here this one is probably some um, in, a, in a certain way also quantized here in time, and so therefore we see already that we have different clock rates here. So here a clock rate which is um, related to the bit stream, and we can think of different chunks, and here at the output here we have a sample system, so a certain sampling rate which is. Um, high enough to generate the RF here. So we have, we need to deal with um, clocks. So let's call this here sampling rate. And um, all the aspects which are which are generated or caused by the issue here that we have got sample systems. Okay, so now we need to delve deeper into this into this um, circuit diagram and resolve what these boxes here actually do. <laughs>